Hey guys, welcome to another Priceless Family Adventure. Uh, if you recognise that bit of road, um, you'll know where we are or where we're headed. Uh, also, if you read the title of the video, you'll know where we're headed. Um, currently, we are set up here at Tati Farm. Uh, T-A-T-I, I think that's how you pronounce it. Um, it's in Myalo, just north of Mossman. Um, we've driven about six hours today to get to here. And um, yeah, so this is our first night camping and on this trip and we'll uh yeah we'll be hitting up through the heading up through the dane tree tomorrow um original plan was to do the crab track wasn't it dear hey we were going to do the crab track but um there's a couple of vehicles rolled recently and a whole drama with a unimog um so it got closed and because we're on our own we're just not going to risk it um so yeah so we're going to go around through bloomfield track instead um not much to film tonight might get a little bit of the river here but it looks like a really nice farm stay and um, yeah we'll go from here and let's have a good trip Right, guys, we've made it to uh, where are we, kids? Bloomfield track. Bloomfield track, I'm pretty sure. Yes, we've made it onto the Bloomfield track. Um, we've not long uh, passed the start of the uh, sign at the start of the track. Um, let's see how we go. Nice, clear, sunny day. Should be good. All right, so we've hit one of the first hills on the uh, Bloomfield track, one of the first steep ones. This is the Donovan Range. Uh, the sign said 20% on this one. Um, I think there's a few that are even more steeper once we get further in. Um, but yeah, there's obviously all concreted now. Um, so yeah, we're just crawling up, second low. And um, we've just now hit the gravel back at the top. So yeah, it should be, should be good. All right, so this one ain't gonna show on the uh, camera, but yeah, 31% gradient here. Um, just because we're on our own, safety sake, etc. There is a bit of traffic on the road today. Um, so I've just gone first gear, low range. We're just gonna crawl our way up this hill. I reckon it's one and a half kilometers. Um, so it should be a slow old chug, but we'll just, uh, yeah, slow and steady and we'll get to the top eventually.
right guys, yeah, look, we made it through uh, the Bloomfield track and um, obviously having lunch here now at the Lions Den Hotel. Um, so yeah, lunch and a cheeky beer and um, there's a big Bundy bear up there behind me. Yeah, well, uh, we're gonna head, keep heading through towards um, Cooktown in a little bit uh, once we finish these up and yeah, continue on our travels till we get to Elam Beach tonight. So yeah, we've made it around, uh, driven around to the coloured sands um, here at Elam Beach and obviously there's a nice little view behind us. We're just walking up the gorge here to the top and looking at um, all of these ancient sands and all the different colours and stuff and the children are loving the uh, soft sand and the chance to run around barefoot. So we'll continue up to the top and see what it looks like. have just turned around. That top section was a bit too steep for them. But um, me and the boys, we're going to go to the um, to the right at the top here and see if we can't find the sand dune that you can sort of basically slide back down. And uh, that's going to be our easy way down. Yeah! Where are we boys? We got lost and now we find our way back. Yeah! And what did we find? Sand dunes, yes, there they Alright guys, um, so yeah, today we obviously went to the coloured sands this morning and we've just spent the rest of the afternoon just chilling and um, yeah, hanging around. We went for a bit of a walk on the beach just out the front of camp here and we've cooked up this, uh, this nice little lamb roast and some veggies for dinner 
and it's going to be like a quite nice quiet night tonight uh, we've got a pretty big day tomorrow so we're going to tuck into this and uh, and yeah and probably just turn in hamburgers all right guys um good morning another beautiful day up here in north queensland we have packed up and left elam beach um, Eddie's camp, that was a wonderful spot, a little bit windy, but um, fairly protected in under the trees. Um, we've headed back a bit towards Cooktown through Hope Vale, um, filled up with all full of fuel. Children are fighting in the back, as usual. Uh, but yeah, we've topped everything off with fuel. We've even got the uh, 20 litre jerry can, which we filled up, just to be sure, because we're about 600 k's of off-road now. Um, with no fuel stops, so we're relying on our range to get us through that. Um, 180 litres under the car, and plus the 20 litre jerry can should be enough. Um, hope it's enough. And yeah, we're gonna go out here and head towards uh, Starkey River, is the planned campsite for tonight. Um, we're gonna stop in at Isabella Falls on the way through. Alright guys, um, so yeah we've made it in here to the Starkey River uh, bush camp, um, that was a pretty cruisy, cruisy little drive in, uh, the road was pretty good all the way up through to the, old, to the Starkey station, um, from there it deteriorated a bit, you could, um, you could see the, the effects of the wet season still hadn't been fixed and there was a lot of uh, ruts and stuff in the road, uh, a lot of the um, creek crossings. Still had a bit of mud or water even in the bottom of some of them. Um, but yeah, it was a, overall it was a pretty cruisy little drive. And um, yeah, we've sort of just been pottering around here. It's about lunchtime. So yeah, we're gonna um, just eat some lunch. And <laughs> went for a little bit of a quick walk down to the boat ramp. Obviously we don't have a boat and there's crocs, so I wouldn't want to uh, go in the water there or anything with it with anything that we've got. Um, but it's still nice to go down there and look at and um, might even go for a bit of a fish down there later on see if I can't get something off the bank but um, yeah there's a couple of schools of little bait fish swimming around getting chased by something in the shallows there so yeah you never know your luck and we'll see how we go uh, good morning guys um, just woke up to another beautiful morning down here at the Starkey River um, there were a few midges out because obviously there's mangroves just over there but um, yeah, other than that, it's been a great little campsite. Beautiful sunrise, uh, sunset last night. Sunrise this morning, I just watched it from the bed. I didn't bother to get up and film it. But um, yeah, it was quite nice. Um, seems like we've picked up a few stragglers today. They came in yesterday afternoon. Um, they were a little bit lost as to where they were, about bloody Habas 3. So we're going to, um, they're going the same direction as us, so they decided to camp the night. And we're going to take them up there this morning. So we're continuing, continuing along the Starkey track, Stark track, whatever, um, and we're going to go up towards Cape Melville today. Um, from what I've read, this, this next bit of the track is really slow going. Um, we've got the Genie River crossing. Um, yeah, so a few little obstacles and stuff today. Let's, uh, let's see what it brings and get on the road.
So what you're watching us drive down into now is the Genie River crossing, which is or can be one of the more challenging parts of the Starkey River track. Uh, as you can see, the entry down into the creek is quite easy and flat, um, but the creek itself has a soft sandy bottom and the exit can also be quite tricky with some wombat holes and is also quite loose. So we're going to have a little bit of morning tea here and you'll notice we drop some tyre pressures to give us the best chance of getting these trailers back out the other side. Um, but that is where we're going to end the episode. So thanks so much for watching. Uh, if you've enjoyed it so far, please remember like and subscribe and tune in next time to see whether we can make it out of the creek in one go.